helmets. One of the coolest things ever in Star Wars. Yet, I have never bought a LEGO Star Wars helmet set. But now I have this one, so let's talk about it. <sighs> the Mandalorian. The Mandalorian is one of my favorite Star Wars TV shows. Despite season three being, well, garbage, everything else is fantastic. And thus, The Mandalorian is one of my favorite Star Wars characters. <laughs> I've been avoiding the LEGO Star Wars helmet sets like the plague, and especially this one with reviews saying that most of it was just too gray and there were some weird gaps in it that didn't really make sense. I honestly just wasn't super interested, but lo and behold, I have this guy. So let's jump into it. Starting off at the front of the build, we have the visor, which to me is the absolute most important part for the Mandalorian because the shape is not only super, super important to get right, but it's also kind of difficult to do in blocky form. Lego can hardly even do it with their Mandalorian figures that they make. Wah, wah. The front is actually super awesome with the entire visor being tiled off and looking pretty good. Some of the visor is a little bit deeper than other parts of it due to the way that they had to build it. So there are parts where if you look at it from the side, it looks a little strange, but overall I think the visor lo actually looks pretty good. I also really like the way that they did the front of the helmet here. Of course, there's those little cheek indents on either side, and that's something that they obviously needed to get right too. They did a really great job. The way that they did this is by connecting the inside sections to clips and having you kind of move them into the right position. This does, however, create gaps depending on which way you put them, either next to the visor or next to the side of the helmet, which isn't perfect, but honestly, I think the best way they could have done it. On the side of the helmet, of course, there's just more detailing and honestly it looks super great. I like this section here that looks really nice. The only downside to it, I think, is the angle they put it at kind of leaves weird gaps on the bottom. I don't really know why it's at a specific angle. I think they could have done it straight, but maybe that's just the way it's supposed to be. Either way, I think they look pretty good for what they are and Lego did a good job at making them close enough to what we see as the Mandalorian. The way that they integrated the silver pieces on the side look really nice. And despite most of this being gray, I think adding those chrome silver pieces on the sides and in the front really help a lot in creating the shiny feel. I think Lego partially cheaped out on the back side just because no one really sees it. Of course, most people will be displaying this with the visor side forward and probably against a wall. So they didn't really need to make the back of the helmet all that great, but it is accurate and it's fairly smooth off too. I just wish that there was more silver back here. There's only one tile and that's pretty much it. The detail on the back though looks pretty good and I really love the smoothed off tiling. Speaking of smoothing everything off, moving back over to the front, we have the forehead, which is lined completely with silver pieces, moving up to the entire top of the head, which is all just one giant brick built sphere, which actually doesn't even look too bad. I just don't love it for a helmet. And the reason for that is pretty simple. Helmets are smooth. I know that they did a really good job at making this round, but it's just kind of weird to see everything else around it be so smooth, but then the top have every single stud showing besides one line in the middle. I just don't think it looks great. The reality is these things are made for collectors and so you'd probably want it to be the best possible. And I think this wasn't quite the best possible. To be quite honest, I definitely avoided this because of the studs on top. And I will say they do look a lot better in person than they did online on reviews and just in the photos. It still is noticeable and kind of looks like the Mandalorian has hair almost a little weird. One thing I absolutely love about these sets though are the plaques and the stands on the bottom. I think the all black stand looks super good and it's very minimalistic, which I like. But the fact that it's completely built up building Lego and has a plaque that's all printed is just a really nice touch. And I think for collectors is pretty important. So Lego did a good job there. But of course, the best part of any Lego set is the minifigures, which in this one, we don't have any. And therein lies one of my problems with these sets. I think it is great to have collector sets and something super awesome that LEGO is doing now, catering to some adult fans who like building like I do. I just love minifigures. I think most people do. 
And if these sets came with one minifig of the helmet that they represented, I just think it would be a huge win for not only LEGO, but the fans too. Take Mega, for example, creating that MIDI scale forward unto Dawn. They gave you, albeit not a fantastic figure, but a good Miranda Keys figure. And I think LEGO should be doing that with these sets. Even if it's not the most printed or the most detailed figure, the fact that this didn't come with a Mandalorian, I think is silly. And it should have come with a Mando that I could put inside the helmet or even just have off to the side. But with all that said, I am pleasantly surprised with the quality of this LEGO Star Wars helmet set. And I think that it's a great set for collectors. The build was super fun and awesome and something that I think most collectors will enjoy. For me, I'm still going to be avoiding the LEGO helmet sets. I don't think these are bad sets and if you enjoy them, that's awesome. But for me, I would just much rather have a set with mini figs and even something that's play scale to me is just much more fun to display and look at. But tell me what you think in the comments down below. Do you like the LEGO Star Wars helmet sets? Have you been avoiding them? And hit that subscribe button to see more. Let me know what you want to see in the comments and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Time to bring this guy in cold.